Hey everybody, this is Kaya Guy. Thanks for watching this video, and welcome to a website tutorial. In this website tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to attach your own domain name to your web host or to your website. Okay, before we start, this video was requested by Matthew zero nine two three. Okay, all links will be in the video description at the right of this video. Okay, I use zero 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 webhost.com as my web host. It's a free web hosting site. Double dot zero 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 webhost.com. You can also buy a premium account if you like their services. So, all links will be in the description at the right of this video. And if you're interested with these stuff, I'll make a separate video about these, about Zerzer web webhost, free web hosting, domains, and all that stuff. I'm gonna make a separate video about that. But in this video, I'm just gonna focus on how to attach your domain name to your webhost or to your website. Okay, at this point, you must have your your domain now. Okay, I purchased these four domain names. I have inquiryguy.com, inquiryguy.info, inquiryguy.net, and inquiryguy.org. So, I'm going to want to attach inquiryguy.org to this website. Now, what I'm going to do is just go to my product launch. Product launcher. Go, just launch, launch your product dashboard. Okay. If you're using GoDaddy, I use GoDaddy by the way. It's a really awesome it's really awesome website and you might want to check it out. They offer lots of school stuff here. They're great services. So check it out. Okay, while well, waiting for that to load, go to your web host C panel and also this will work in all the websites websites or web hosts that use a C panel. Or sites like free web, free site hosting sites like ucause.com or I don't know I think yeah ucause.com any any free hosting site that uses a name server or you can park your domain attach your domain whatever okay just go to your C panel here and then go to add on domains under the domain sub category or category I should say. Now what you're gonna do is type in here your domain name. You wanna type in here in creditguy.org. In creditguy.org. Then choose a password for it. Then I'm gonna type in here. Um so I'm just gonna type in password, just give me some time. Now once you have typed your password, just click on set up new account. Now let's go back to my project dashboard. Okay. Now what you're gonna do here is look for look for the option or setting that says name servers. So yours might be different because I use I use GoDaddy, but I don't know it's you whatever you use. But I think all those sites are just the same, but it's just other some websites are just a little complicated to understand so go ahead and go to your project dashboard and look for for something or a button that says name servers yours might be different as i've said so just look for setting or option that says name servers click that now while waiting for that to load let's go back to our c panel now let's go back to our accounts list Okay, we now have your inquiryguy.org. Now let's go to C panel of this. Now you should get a message like this: Your domain is not yet pointing us to our server, so services such as FTP, website builder, or file manager may not work. You need to update name servers to NS01 blah 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 for your domain. This one will be removed once your domain will start resolving to our server. Now. What you're gonna do here is okay go to your name servers right go back to your project dashboard to your name servers and select i host my domains with another provider now what you're gonna do is copy this copy this this address these two address and it it depends actually your web host it may be for maximum is for for name servers now copy these two name servers i have two name servers here for my web host 
So I'm gonna copy that and paste it here. Copy the other one. And paste it here. Okay, so now I have here these two. Okay. It may look different on your web host or whatever your web host that you have, but if you use a web host that ha that uses cPanel, it may look similar to these. That and what I what I have here, it may look similar to these to this to this web host or to this cPanel. It may look similar to yours. If you're using anything or any web host that uses cPanel, it may look similar to this. Now, what you're gonna do is if you if you use another web host like UCause, what you're gonna do is just go to your look for a setting that says attach domain or domain settings, whatever. And then what you're gonna do is just attach the domain and what you're gonna do is point your domain, point your domain to to their servers. Just like what I did here. Just copy these two name servers. Again it may it may it will depend on your web host. It may be four, three or two or one. I mean the minimum is two and the maximum is four. So just copy these two. I already have these two and then click on OK. This is validating. Then wait for it to finish submitting. Your changes have been submitted. Please allow a few minutes to change for the changes to take effect. Then click OK after that. And then just wait 24 to 48 hours maximum until it will be available on the net but you can try it now and usually it takes only 15 minutes but if not it may take 24 to 48 hours so start to visit inquiryguide.org and as you can see it just shows, shows this GoDaddy and it means that it's not yet finished or it's not yet done loading or it's not yet part or attached to your account so you can just, just visit this site or this C panel every now and then and as I've said it may take 48 I mean 24 to 48 hours and so just be patient all need is patience and yeah. and everything should work fine after you after you've done that so basically if you just visit your domain name org visit that domain name it will show your site and it will be your site now it will be attached to your site and so yeah all you need is patience just wait for it it may it may take some time really so yeah that's basically how to attach your domain name or how to connect it to your web host how to, your, how to attach your domain name how to park it or whatever you want to call it how to attach it to your web host or to your website Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and a lot more tutorial to come, tutorials to come and also the next tutorial will be the next website tutorial will be I'm gonna teach you how to install Joomla or how to install a CMS to your website. So I'm Mallory Jacob Pacheco. Thank you for watching this video. More tutorials to come, visit our website at internetguy.com. Please comment and subscribe, visit our website or visit my website at incrediguy.com. Bye.